Um, you want to, you handed this to me a while ago, and uh, it took me a while to get around to it, but I finally did. Good, but good stuff. I think GA watched it before both of us, though. I did. But Actually. failed to mention you watched it. It's yeah, yeah. I failed to mention that. for for whatever reason that we'll find out sooner or later. Let me read the basic hotline for the folks out there. Go ahead. Don't already know. Thank you. I will. I will do that. The story follows Alan Walker, a 13-year-old man, a uh, sorry kid, who becomes an exorcist to fight slash exercise the evil demons slash Akuma. Akuma is what they call them in English because they don't want to use the word demon. Uh, it's created by the crazy villain known as the Millennium Earl. Alan, with the organization he works for, which is known as the Dark Order, not the Black Order in English dub and the Dark Order in the Japanese dub, harness mystical spiritual energy known as, known as innocence, which gives each exorcist a unique ability which they use to fight and exorcise the demons. Slash Akuma, whichever one you want to call them. And that is the basic bloodline. Kids got powers to fight demons. The bad guy's Millennium Earl, and he's in an organization called the Dark Order to fight the demons. That's pretty much it, right? Yep. Good stuff. Cool. And uh, let's quickly go through the characters. You got, I would say, three main characters, which is the main character, Alan Walker, who's the protagonist. Lena Lee. Yeah. Lena Lee, who is a comrade of his, female. Lena com- Lee! She's got powers on her feet. Changli. Larvi is another comrade. He has a giant hammer. And Ken- Kanda... I think oh, I've got... go, go. Kanda is your, you know, typical angry man, swordsman, the quiet one, the cool one, who's got some past that I'm not sure if we even went into. Anyway, so you've got sub-characters that come along, but we're not even going to address... We'll address them in the, in the discussion... And uh, the villains, we got the Millennium Earl. Scary. I, I'm pretty sure I got a reference for Millennium Earl, but it's totally slipped my mind. The storyline is divided into two phases, uh, a 51 episode and then a 52 episode. The 50, first 51 episodes have been dubbed. US. I watched the dub, by the way. And the other 52 episodes are not dubbed. They've not been picked up by any licensing company. I wonder why. I found animation to be very gloomy. You know, they always have that thing about London being gloomy. Are they set in London, by the way? I think they are. I think this is set in uh, England. It it has got a European kind of flair to it. They go to a lot of um, European European countries, countries, especially at the beginning. And obviously all the names are very um, European, I guess. British, Alan Walker and Millennium Earl. It does seem kind of... They all come from different... Air sections of the world, basically. Yeah. So they do travel a lot. GA, what are you saying? I'm saying nothing. Is there really anything else to say about that? They are... It's just... It's like they try to do the gloomy, yeah, they in Europe. And Europe is um, dull and boring. Well, that's for the backdrop. But let's talk about the monsters. The monsters are fucking disgusting. They the are monsters, very disgusting. Was they disgusting? They're very disgusting. They was... I found them to be, yeah. you know, I, this anime might be whatever, but this, the animation for the, the monsters, they were like, what were they like? Machines mixed with... Humans. Corpses. Corpses. And then they did this thing where they would show their soul on fire, mm. the soul that was attached to them, uh-huh. for extra flair. It was like, I mean, what? it was dark, just like the story itself is dark. Yeah. And so it went together well. You wouldn't want a story... That the story that it is to be dark and then the animation to be all light and and, fa- and fairy and and happy. It's not a nice subject. Balance of the animation being gloomy and how the anime actually was, it kind of didn't. A bit of a mismatch. And this anime seemed to have a fascination with guns. Bullets. Bullets. Every monster, especially the first fifty-two episodes, every monster must shoot bullets. You yeah. know, all the monsters were shooting bullets. Alan Walker was just a giant Mega Man. Mega. <laughs> perfect. He was a he was a yeah. He was a perfect Mega Man actually. Yeah. Um. The character designs were fine. They were that they were okay. It was again kind of generic in the sense that they were quite tall. 
and skinny again, again with the, the, the deep, supposedly meaningful eyes, I would say top heavy or head heavy kind of, kind of look with, with the main character and things like that. It was, it wasn't bothersome. Yeah. And then you had like in sections because like the main character was quite skinny and young, young and, and very fresh faced in a way in his face. I, I tell you a thing that disappointed me about the animation. I'm glad you brought this up. You know, sometimes when you do animation, this is one piece of example. You got a young character, right? But whenever they do the fight scenes, suddenly the character seems really bulky and really manly and like, hey, he looks kind of old in the ears. That was never the case in this anime. He always looked like a kid. And it just, your protagonist, there comes a time where he should look like someone of a hero, you know, a bit, even kids. Flipping out, you see Hunter times Hunter, these kids, sometimes they bulked up a bit, you know what I mean? From my memory, anyway. They, I don't know. He just didn't have this appeal to me, the hero appeal at all. I don't know if that's got to do with the, the anime as much as it has to do with the actual Tui, you know, the character himself. No, but what I'm saying is, in most anime, there always comes a point where, you know, the, the, the main character stands in front of you, and there's like a shot of him, and he looks like, yeah, that's the man. You know, in one of the battles, you know that shit, he's going to fuck you up. But there was no time in the anime, I looked at him and thought, you know, he's the man. I just always thought, He's a side character. I always thought he was born. Is, is that does that help? Because he just didn't really. He didn't. He, there was no, He wasn't like they normally like to give the main character basic power, and him use it to its fullest. His power was basic, and he used it basically. Um. So let's move on to the sounds. Unlike you guys, I watched the dub. Dub was actually, it was pretty good. Except for Miranda, the character who played Miranda. Whining, man. Her whining was unbearable. Maybe you guys remember, you know, when they were taking her from her clock town, the episode where she was stuck in the town and they found her. All she was was screaming about how useless she was. Yeah. She was just crying for, like, three episodes. And in English, it was painful. Her voice was just, ah. Oh. And it, it came off much worse than I thought. Trust me, I don't know if that, that was the intention, but every time I heard her voice, it was just p- very painful, you know. But apart from that, the double, it was pretty good. The, the voice acting was good. I watched it in Japanese, and it was, it was actually really, I actually, that part about it, I liked it. It was easy to, to follow when you was reading, you know, it wasn't yeah. really um, difficult to read, you know, subs was good. And um, the Japanese voices were um, were really entertaining. Even the whiny girl, her voice wasn't bad. So she didn't come off as whiny. I can concur because I watched the second half in Jap and you're 100% right. That's why I knew that, again, it was lost in translation. It was very bad because trust, she was so annoying in English. So annoying. But everyone else was fine. Yeah, I watched it and I liked it as well. I watched it in Japanese. I did not watch the dub. And it like, just like Dia said, it was... Very easy. I didn't find it um, an- annoying or hard to to read or anything like that. I thought it was fine. No problems for me. Cool. Okay, well, we're moving on to our second to last section already, which is, what do you get from this anime? And you know what? I want to go first for this one. Because... Shocker! Because people, you know, when I say what I'm about to say... You're going to have to listen to the discussion, which is full of spoilers to understand it. But what you're going to get from this anime is a mishmash of ideas from other animes. And you know what? I'm not saying that a lot of anime don't take ideas from other animes. But this is just too fucking blatantly obvious. It's just... And I find it quite fucking despicable, to be honest with you. As I was watching it, things was happening. I really felt like... They were pleasing the audience with elements that came directly from other animes. For example, there was a completely pointless plot line where they were on a boat fighting for I don't know how many episodes. And I just felt like, are they having a boat action scene because that's in another series? You know, like One Piece. I'm not even going to hide it. It just felt like they took that from One Piece because that arc served no purpose. Hey, that was really successful in One Piece. Let's do it. You know, so what you're going to get from this anime is ideas from the top three anime and former alchemists as well mashed into this shit. 
I know you're going to get an original fucking story. I'm sorry. I can't. I'm not even going to hold back. You're going to get an original story, a protagonist that doesn't feel like someone you can look to as a hero, more like some placid, goody two shoes side character, not a fucking hero. And the storyline that amounts to nothing, you know, but you might, you might be entertained. That's what I think you're going to get from this anime. All I can say about this is that. What, what would you get? You get you get more of the same. Do you like One Piece? Do you like Naruto? Do you like Bleach? You get you get more of the same. Hey, don't forget Full Metal Alchemist. Hey, Full Metal. You you get you get more of the same, which in some cases I guess is not a bad thing. In this case, however, it is not done as interesting. You know, watching an anime, you're normally expecting more of the same because that's the whole reason why you watch anime because you want more. Of what you like but for some reason it just didn't quite work out as well for me in the in the gray man the main character was um it's i won't go into that so what, what you get out of it is more the same i think that's the main thing i would say you get more the same of the top three or top four best rated animes out there apart from that um yeah you get more easier characters to recognize and um i'm trying struggling to help to find anything else that you get out of this so i think i'll just i'll end it there for me um i feel like what you will get out of this anime is the foundational concept is interesting yeah in my in my opinion i think that yeah there it slightly can get lost in translation and at points it is you can see that there is um similarities in other anime definitely but i feel like it does there are elements in this anime that does provoke emotion and it is dark there are lots of things and the the like i said the foundational premise is very very interesting and so for me, I was intrigued, and I think that you do get that out of this anime, that there, there are some intri- intriguing points. I do not feel as strongly as one and GA that this is a pile of crap. I feel that there, that it is, that there are elements in it that is interesting, and it could have been much more, it could be, it could have grown into something that, that would have st- would have stood alone as a good anime. I think it's a watchable anime. I think, like I said, I've always, I'm just going to repeat myself and say there's elements that are good. I I liked um, the foundational storyline, the idea. I thought the idea was was fresh. I personally felt it was. I can understand and see the way it went. It did go skew with. It did go kind of wrong in places. But it's definitely watchable. I don't think it's as boring as some may think it is. And yeah, that's it for me. Watchable. I'll say it is an acquired taste. You're going to need to want to watch this. It's got to be something you want to see. You want to see more of your favorite anime done in a different parallel universe with different characters and not as well. Because, you know, you're bored and they're on break or they're doing fillers. So you're like, I, I, I still need some more of that that vibe. And the grey man will hopefully fill that void for you. I, I want to justify my rating, but I'm not I'm trying not to ramble about it. Basically, to me, it's just reeking of unoriginality. And usually, that would classify as vanilla, because I'm not going to say I was bored. Because I wasn't watching it bored. I was just watching things happen and just felt like nothing original was coming out of it. They were just taking elements from here, there, everywhere, mash it together. The villains made absolutely no sense, and that made it even worse. You know, questions were not answered. They were just piled on at the end. And because this anime is so long, I think some people thought it was going to be a contender for the big three, you know, Naruto, or Bleach and One Piece. And looking at it, it's, it's, no, it's just not original. You're watching it, it just, you know it's been thrown together. And I just felt like it, it just irritated me on every level. It really did. I can't even say that it, it's watchable because in this whole scheme of anime out, 
this just feels unoriginal in every sense of the word. And for me, this, I am definitely not feeling this anime. It's not even a quiet taste. No, watch something else. Please watch something else. Because I've watched anime I don't like more than this, but they're original. This shit is just unoriginal in every sense. Not one ounce of originality. And it just irritated me. You know, if you've watched the anime already, you can listen to the discussion and I will go into greater detail on why I feel this way. But, you know, for now, you know, that was our brief review.